It's been less than a year after the Ocean Gate submersible disaster gripped the nation. Five people killed when the sub imploded on an excursion to the Titanic. And now there's a new effort underway to reach the shipwreck once again in a different kind of submersibles, though. NBC spoke to the billionaire behind the adventure that's raising some concerns. Larry Connor has soared to the International Space Station and down to the deepest parts of the ocean. But it's the billionaire's next adventure that's arguably turning the most heads. He wants to take this newly designed submersible to the Titanic shipwreck, the same deep sea voyage that killed five people less than a year ago. Growing questions surrounding that deadly submersible accident. This was a terrible disaster, but in our opinion, an avoidable one. And if done correctly, we can demonstrate worldwide that this type of exploration and submersible is safe. The real estate and tech entrepreneur has partnered with Triton Submarines to build a vessel that will send him and the company's CEO on a research mission to the Titanic. The infamous shipwreck is roughly 13,000 feet under the sea, where water pressure is hundreds of times greater than at the surface. These are dangerous conditions. Why are the risks worth taking for you? So I would reframe this. These can be dangerous conditions. We are going to go through multiple steps, multiple certifications to ensure that this vessel and specifically the hull is safe and sound. The Ocean Gate submersible imploded last June, instantly killing its CEO and four passengers. I've broken some rules to make this. Following the deadly disaster, there was intense criticism over the company's lack of testing and use of experimental materials, especially the submersible's carbon fiber composite hull. Ocean Gate has since suspended operations. Mechanical engineer Bart Kemper was among those to express concern before the implosion, but says he trusts Triton. What is different about this mission here? The big difference here is that we're using proven technology uh, that's, that's still innovative, but it's been done the right way. So you would go on this exploration? In a heartbeat. Sign me up. Connor reiterating his top priority. If you're asking, are we confident we can do it safely? The answer is yes. And the sub, estimated to be worth up to $15 million, is still being built with the goal of launching in the summer of 2026. But Larry Connors says if any safety concerns are raised, that that date will be changed or the project will be scrubbed altogether.